Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about pneumonia. So the diagnosis of pneumonia is done with an x-ray. So this x-ray is going to show the infiltration in the affected area with a white shadow. So you can see from the diagram on the right we have a lung which is infected with pneumonia and you can see the infected region by this white shadow and the white shadows are going to show the inflammatory alveolar processes. The gram staining of the sputum from the cough is going to be used to distinguish whether the infection is bacterial, viral, gram positive or gram negative. So a sample is taken from the patient by telling them to cough deeply from the lungs and then that is analysed further to see what is causing the infection. If the patient was previously healthy, a common rule is that the cause was from mycoplasma, virus or a gram-positive gram bacteria. And if the patient was previously ill in hospital or they have some systemic conditions like diabetes, then gram-negative is suspected. So we combine this by checking a blood sample. So if the white blood cell count is 15,000 micrograms per litre, then that is a sign of acute pneumonia. And the symptoms as well will be cough, fever, chills and rails. So when we're looking at the treatment of pneumonia, we're going to first culture this microorganism to find out which antibiotic is specific for it. And then and we'll also be doing empirical treatment before we actually culture the microorganism. So a broad spectrum antibiotic in the time it takes to culture the microorganism to find out specifically what uh, microorganism is causing the infection. And once we found out that information, then we can use very specific antibiotics.